Hello everyone, Dawn Catcher here. This is my vid journal for September 2018. Um, odd month, tiring month, mostly good month. I feel pretty worn and half burned out, if you can't tell. But that's not completely a bad thing. It's better to feel this way after helping other people and working through my own issues than feel this way after getting into trouble that I've caused myself. Thankfully that hasn't happened in a long time! Yay! Woohoo! Anyway. Um. Yes. Issues with my ex, the seemingly formally, formerly conniving person, um, who may not be anymore, I'm not sure. It's hard to tell whether that person and where that person is at in their faith walk and in their life. It's a little bit up and down and round and round for them right now. A little less so than it used to be, but still. Yes, we all need to pray for each other. I covet you guys' prayers, one of the few things you can covet in a godly way. Very thankful for any and all of your prayers. God will sort them and sort us all. Anyway, um, yes, things are looking better with him. Uh, still weird. Um, yeah. Going on a year since he kicked me out and since everything went haywire, but God has used that as a blessing in disguise. Um, yeah. So that's being dealt with. God's got it all taken care of anyway. And then the other stuff in my life that's, whoo, that's a tornado and a half there. And not necessarily in a good way. I'm praying the Lord will use it either way. He knows what's going on. He, he can see all the threads and then some. I can only see little bits and pieces here and there, just like the rest of you. Ooze. The rest of you. Yes, learning new words. <laughs> anyway. Um, this month has consisted of even more wonderful scriptural word Bible study. Um, digging into the meaning of the words in the scripture is a wonderful thing to do. Really helps you understand what's really being said there. Yeah, dig deep. And dig it too. Um, yeah, that's that's some of the good strangeness and weirdness for, for this month. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, yeah, my sleep patterns, all crazy. Um, rather odd. Um, sometimes I can hardly sleep, sometimes I get the right amount of sleep, sometimes it's a mixed bag, and my usual sleep pattern is sleeping during the day. Well, now sometimes it's sleeping during the day, sometimes it's sleeping during the night, sometimes it is sleeping whenever my body feels like it. Um, I think it has to do with the changing from summer to fall, uh, but it may have to do with stress or the mixture thereof. I'm leaving that in God's hands too. Uh, what else? What else? Yes, editing. Um, a lot of editing. Hardly any painting or sewing 
this month. Um, no sewing this month except for hand sewing some tears in my mom's quilt that looks pretty funny. <laughs> I am not a quilter! No! <laughs> I may be able to make them, but I am far from a pro and have no desire to be one. Um, yeah. So, no new tunics, no new vestures, no new anything else that I would be sewing. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, what else? Yes, back to editing. Um, most people don't know what I write. Uh, because what little that had been punned at sorry back up reverse start over partially editing yes um most people do not know what i write um that's because what i had published most of it i took off because i thought it was horrible i thought it needed to reworking really really badly and i'm in the process of doing that uh, I still have some stuff on fanfiction. Hmm. Not that anyone... Well, there may be some people. Most people would not understand what I am writing there. Most people would get it misconstrued. Despite the warnings that are on there, most people would not understand it. Much less know that it was my stuff. Um, but without further to do. Uh, for those of you that don't know what I write, I write a mixture of things. Um, a lot of journaling, um, and my journaling gets funneled into my historical fiction, which, uh, I'll leave it to God how much is actually fiction. Because, <laughs> It's no secret that a lot of truth is leaked out in fiction. I can leave it there. God is the one that knows what is fictionalized and what is not. Um, yeah. Leaving it in his hands. Completely. Um, but yeah, my journaling usually gets funneled into my historical fiction. Um, and beside, uh, the bulk of what I write is either journaling or historical fiction. But also, um, you know, I write tracks. I, I'm working on a book that has to do with, um, different topics and issues that most believers do not want to touch with a ten-foot pole. They either want to ignore it or look the other way, or just not deal with it. Um, and these are issues that are destroying lives. Um, that's one reason I post what I post. Otherwise I wouldn't be posting squat because I do not like people paying attention to me. Unless God wants them to. Because I don't like being the center of attention at all. Anyway, yes, the people that know me know what that look was about. <laughs> anyway, but most people don't realize that when it comes to the content of what I write, I don't hold back. Um, at least not anymore. At one time, I held back a lot and ended up bottling stuff and that's not healthy but I write about anything and everything the good the bad the ugly everything in between the the wonderful little odds and ends and quirkinesses of life um and the horrors um and so you know most people would be shocked at 
the some of the graphicness of the content that I write. You know, most people have this misconception that, you know, believers shouldn't be writing about the things that I write about. But when you go back and you look at the Bible, God had them write about the stuff. Um, it's just, I, I only hold back on the details. God lets me know that the details need to be held back on because people don't need it yet or aren't ready to receive it or that's for him to show people um but otherwise I, I write about everything everything that I've dealt with and the people in my life and people in the lives of those that have been in the people that are in my life I write about those issues so if you come in contact with me Unless you want that to be funneled into the rest of everything else, don't tell me about it. Um, I'm not going to tell your stuff. You know, what's not mine to tell is not mine to tell. But when I write, anything that's in my subconscious is going to go into my journaling or into my historical fiction. Or into, you know, the work on finding the roots of sin and the different issues that come out of sin and you know how God wants us to to root it out and how he can help us root it out and overcome it and and you know my my main focus is this how do we live for God how do we love God with all our heart soul mind might and strength how do we love our neighbor as ourself and love God and others as he loves our, ourselves, us, not whatever that strange word was, me talking too fast, apologies, apologies, um, yeah, that, that's my primary focus. And anything that comes out of those things and approaches any likeness to those things, yeah, that, it's going to end up there. Um, and so that's, that's what most of this month has been. Editing, you know, my historical fiction, working on some journaling and working on writing even more historical fiction. And, um, you know, working on my issues and writing down what the issues are. Um, and I have a lot, but everyone has a lot. But it's, it's one thing to act like you don't have them. Everyone has something. And there are good issues to have. There are good issues to have. I need people to love me. That's a big issue for me. That's a good issue. And I love people. I guess that's an issue for other people. <laughs> um, yeah. I want to do that how God would have me. No other way. But, yes. Worn and half burned out. But mostly in a good way and for a good reason this month. Um, encouragements to any and all of you that feel the same way. <laughs> the Lord will strengthen you. Seriously, he will. Maybe one of these days people will learn that even when I jest, I am at least half serious, if not completely serious um me and not being serious I don't know if that exists anywhere <laughs> but um yeah you guys be blessed and may October be wonderful and have nothing to do with the evil that most people celebrate in it the Lord conquer it for himself with love peace joy and his kind of prosperity. 
Um, well, Lord be with you, bless and keep you, keep us all out of trouble, unless it's the good kind. There is a good kind of trouble. Um, yeah. This one needs to let everybody go. <laughs> be blessed. Don Catcher. Out. Oh yeah. I love all you guys, and I'm praying for all of you guys whether I know you or not. Yes. This time. Don Catcher out. Be blessed. <laughs>